All right, so another one here, um, Neil and Helen, yet again, in a very same, like the very same sort of scenario as what the other one was before, just with the backlight um, and no front light. So I, I'm not sure who took this. I think Matt might have taken this. Um, yeah, not 100% sure, but um, love the photo. I have changed the color in the background. Um, it was just sort of an orange color, but I've changed it to pink just to give it a bit more personality. Um, but in doing that, we've got a little bit of an issue here with all the flames, with the you know the blowout and the flames. So we need to kind of fix that. Um, but as far as it goes as a silhouette, um, I kind of love it. I think it's really cool as a silhouette. So uh, what we're going to do, just kind of have a bit of a look around, see what we need to clean up. Um, I'm going to see what my image pop does to this. Yeah, that makes it fall apart a bit too much, which I don't like. So we'll just delete that. What I am going to go through uh, is dodge and burn because there's a sort of spot over here I'd like to darken down. It's a bit distracting, um, and then we'll have a work on the uh, on the flames. So uh, white brush, 50%. Uh, we're going to go to 100 because I'm I want that properly dark. Um, cool. So you can still see the detail there, but um, and then all I'm going to do is just sort of darken down in these corners a little bit. That's it. Take that bit away. And we might just give this line here a bit of a hit. This one here. Cool. All right. So dodge. What do we want to do? I'm thinking we may be able to just bring Helen and Neil out just a little bit with the dodge. I don't want to go too crazy. Just, just enough so you can see them, I guess. Um, cool. I'm happy with that. It's a cool looking silhouette. Um, it's not super duper sharp. Um, I think we might have focused on Neil's ear for that one, but again, it's a little bit of a challenge to shoot through um, the the flames and stuff here um, with and, and get it focused properly. So, um, all right. So. Because I've changed the background to pink um, and haven't really, when I did that, I failed to consider that the flames aren't actually pink. Um, and even if we were going to photograph this through the flames with a pink light, the flames still wouldn't be pink. So I'm now in a bit of a position where I'm like, shit, um, I need to change these flames back to the right color. So I'm going to make a layer, uh, make it a saturation, uh, actually, let's go a hue, layer, and then I'm going to change this back to a color that they potentially should be. There we go. And we'll put a layer mask on it and hide the layer mask. So now, uh, my cunning plan is just to run over these and change them back to orange, which should be easily done enough. Just got to make sure that we don't hit any of the wrong edges or anything and change something else to orange that shouldn't be orange. Cool. I think we've done like a pretty good job of that. Um, what I might just do is give them just a little bit more vibrance in the color. A little bit more saturation. Can we do that? Not really. Okay. Image adjustments, vibrance. Go to about there, and we'll do that. Cool. All right. So now, now that we've got this separate layer, um, I kind of want to fix these highlight points on this layer as opposed to doing it on the other one. Um, I kind of, I really like how this looks now. Um, and see, this also gives us the option to, if we wanted to, to 
completely change the lighting um, to whichever, wherever we kind of want to go with it. I actually, I'm a bit of a fan of pink, as we all know, um, but obviously blue and, and orange go together. Um, so what I might just do is create a layer and I want to go from kind of pink, the pink it is, to more of a purple kind of color. I want to change the vibrance of it too much, but sort of something like that, because that kind of goes a bit better with the the orange flames. Um, so see how it just stands out just a little bit more. Cool. All right. Uh, so now we need to fix this. So um, we can't, we want to darken these back. So. Um, I'm kind of winging it here a little bit. We're going to go darken and I'm going to reduce it down to about 40% and I'm going to pick the color closest to what we want because it needs to be brighter in the middle and uh, darken 40%. So what I'm going to do, I'm happy with how it all looks. So I'm just going to be lazy and I'm going to flatten the whole thing and then we're going to do that again. Yeah, there we go. That works better. So my layers, because I had heaps of layers there, it was just all a bit confusing. So it's just easier to um, easier to just merge it together and do it here. So all I'm going to do is just go round that part, and there is a dark line there which we're going to need to get rid of. Oops. So what I think we're going to have to do with that is change the brush to lighten uh, and use the lighten part to get rid of that dark line. So I'm going to go to lighten. Now there's probably a hundred different ways to do this and I may be doing it the wrong way, um, but this is just how I've kind of worked out how to do it, how I've taught me how to do it. So um, if you've got a better way, do that. Um, if not, then happy days, just do this. All right, so that's pretty much all of them there. We've gotten rid of those harsh lines. We've brought them back to a the realistic color they should be. So now, um, I'm going to go back to my brush and I'm going to grab my overlay and I'm going to stick it on 100% because I just want to see what it comes out like. And all right, so that's a bit, a bit much. So let's go to 50. Big wide brush. Just go over them. So um, I'm I'm pretty good with that. Like you can still see a little a few sort of white areas and stuff in the flames, but that's that is to be expected. Um, <clears throat> what I am going to do is with my patch tool, I'm just going to grab this part because it's distracting, and I'm going to content aware fill that out, and it's done a horrible job. So let's do it the hard way. So I want to grab a little bit from both sides and all the way around to make it look right. There we go. Unless you're really looking for that, you're not going to spot it. Um, and what we might just do is with the um, overlay tool, overlay brush, just going to brush that in a little bit. Just
just to darken that back a little bit. Whoops, that was too much. And we'll just add a little bit of that color back to these bits that are white. bit on Helen's hand a little bit back there <clears throat> and I'm good I reckon we're done yes there's a bit of blue going on here um, I, I, it's kind of it wouldn't be right um, color wise it wouldn't be right um, so what we would do is I would go my warm it up action that would warm it right up um, potentially still not enough so what we're going to do is I'm going to paint this in and I might do it a couple of times so with white brush normal 100% white brush I'm just going to paint that color in here for Neil because the, the orange is gonna shine on, on Helen's clothes, on Helen's dress. So we kind of, we can't make it look, we can't make it blue because that's not gonna be realistic. Um, the purple here is fine, um, but for it to not be, um, not be orange when, when the flames would be reflecting on it, it it's, it's logically wrong. Um, so just gonna do, a couple of passes of this just to warm Helen's clothes up a little bit so it looks more normal. Um, a little bit here for Neil as well. And I went over the edge here a little bit too much, so I'm going to take that back. <coughs> Cool, and I reckon it might take one more. Yeah. So we've gone over that three times, guys. So, and I'm not, it's nothing uh, destructive. Uh, we're not doing anything destructive to the photo. So we're maintaining the quality of the photo. We're just adding layers on top. Um, just want to be a little bit more careful with this one because this is going to be the last layer. But now you can see that there is that little bit of goldy kind of color um, which you would expect to see um, especially on you know on both of their clothes uh, what I might just do <coughs> zoom in a little bit and take it off here a bit cool <coughs> And there we go. That's I'm I'm pretty pretty good with that. Um, <clears throat> not really much more we can do. Um, don't really want to do much more because it's just a cool silhouette. So uh, yeah, there we go. So we will uh, file save that one. <laughs>